In this session, uh, let's learn about private database links. Okay, so let's see who the user is. User is Tom. Let me go back to Sys. Okay, here uh, let me create the database link. So it is create database link. You see, I didn't mention any public keyword. If I mention the keyword public, then it is a public database link. If I don't mention anything, it is a private database link. Okay. And then I'll call this as prod underscore uh, p link. Okay. You can give whatever name you want. So connect to John identified by John 345 using my prod. So database link is created. Now let's query the student table at the rate prod underscore p link. You see you are able to access the student table just not student table whatever the objects John has you can access let's see what are the various objects John has select star from tab at the rate prod p link okay select star from tab at the rate prod p link Okay, he has only student table or STUD table, right? Okay, since we created a database link which is private, can Tom access it? Okay, let's connect to Tom and then let's try to use the same link tab at the rate product P link. You see what it says? Connection description for remote database not found. Indirectly, it means whatever the private database link it created that is not accessible to Tom. So, this is the difference. A public database link can be accessed by all the users whereas a private database link can be accessed by only the user who has created it. Okay.